look where we're going. This is my last day of my two day vacation, plus the weekend, that makes it four days. And I'm gonna shoot my AR, I'm gonna shoot my 1911, and I'm gonna shoot my sidearm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm at the range, and I'm gonna be shooting my Hellcat, and I have a red dot on it. Been working on the red dot, still haven't zeroed that in yet. I've got my new range officer, which I set my sight uh, the previous video, and then I'm going to, and that, that range officer is pre-owned, pre love it, awesome, my Hellcat, they're both Springfield products, and then you're going to see that I'm going to bring out my uh, uh, Taylor Arms AR-15, and there's not many like it, um, so it's kind of a collectible and we're going to be shooting that. I do want to apologize. I Next time I will have the camera set up so you can actually see me shooting. The actual me shooting and be able to see the target. I didn't realize the camera angle, but this kind of thing is new to me and we'll get better at it. you like it so I am starting off um, with the top left target and I'm going to be using 20 rounds of 223 I'm using 223 today and we're going 10 yards out of our AR and that's what we're going to see right now Now the one thing you can see is uh, the shells ejecting, the operation of the AR is working fine, and you can see that muzzle flash. Um, it's, a, it's a nice gun. It, it fits nice with me, and uh, I like shooting it. That is 10, that's 20 rounds at 10 yards. Small target. Now I'm going to go out to 15 yards. That's the size of my. So now you can see the 
see what the size of the target is. That's really good group. I think we're doing so There's 15 yards, 29 shots for YouTube. That's still the palm of my hand. That was 15 yards. Let's go 20. Actually tiring. I haven't shot the AR in a year, over a year. Okay, so this is iron sights. That one did get away from me, right there. Um, so I a little high to the right now at 20 yards. Still, except for that one flyer. We're still in the pond. So here's the target. Three outside the palm of my hand. Yeah, I'm still making body mass easy. Let's go at 25. Span of my hand, I'd say that we were really on target at 25. Let me know what you think. That's just iron target, and that's iron sights. That was uh, 25 yards out. That was uh, I'm gonna use this for handguns. All right. First round's gonna be three yards. 
So now I'm using my new to me 1911, Springfield 1911 Range Officer Target Edition. And let's see, I think we're starting, we're doing, I think it was three, five, and seven yards. Let's see how we do. Six shots. Good grouping. Five years. Then we're going to move on to second time out with uh, the 1911 and I really feel like I'm doing well with it. All right. All right, let me introduce you to the bad guy. This is the bad guy. Now I draw these up, you know, your your fist is about the size or your heart is about the size of a fist, blah blah blah. So I got it pretty good and we're going to do failure drills. I've loaded up uh, six rounds in the 1911, each one of the mags. So it's, it's two to the body, one to the head. Two to the body, one to the head, starting at ready position. And then we go from there. I did some with the Hellcat. And then at the end, I used the... I was still getting used to the red dot. So you'll see at the end that I kind of shot the shoulder side, the right side of the... Or the left side. Well, if he's looking at me at the left side, if I'm looking at it... If you're looking at it, it's the right side. I was just working on uh, get, working on the red dot on that, but let's get to back to the video and let's enjoy shooting the bad guy.
right, that is at three yards. Three yards. Pretty effective. Okay, seven yards. You just got jammed. Just got jammed. So it did jam twice after that flawless. Um, it looked like it was a failure to extract, but I also was, have had trouble with my shoulder for the last few months, and I think I was really limp wristing it because once I made myself aware of that, um, I did not have any other issues and made sure that I had a strong arm behind it. So that's one thing you gotta be aware of, and that's what the one thing I changed after it jammed almost twice in a row. And I was like, okay, I must be tired. My arm is, is tired, uh, but make sure I, I give it a, that, that, that stable backing you need to have. And it worked flawlessly the rest of the way.
the rest of the day. Ran out of 45 ACP. I'm going to be putting a, a Venmo uh, information in the description below. I think I started this video. So if you want to help with ammo, that would be great. If you want to just help support the channel, that would be great. So I moved on to the Hellcat and still working on Red Dot. I think I got it zeroed in for where I need to be looking into. I'll find out next time. Got to have some ammo. Thank you. So, basically, hit everything I wanted to hit. Failure drills went, I had two um, failure to feeds, two stove pipes actually, or failure to the jacks, I guess, and that would be limp wristing it on my 1911. But this year, I just realized that five yards. Five yards. Um, yeah, I'm putting that. I gotta work with that red dot. I just red dot on my on my Hellcat. But failure drills at, at three yards were phenomenal. Five yards wasn't for the uh, failures to eject. Um, the 1911 was just perfect on sights. I believe the sights were that is. I'd say, uh, pretty much. Well, we pretty much did it. I think we got the bad guy. And I'm done here inside Gritter. My last day of shooting before going back to work. And I really enjoyed it. I'll see you in the car. So as I was uh, checking out a gritter, the older fella, he came up to me and he said, you're one hell of a shot. You're one hell of a shooter. I was like, am I? I was kind of disappointed in how I was shooting, but I don't know, you're always harder on yourself, uh, but you just keep trying. You just keep trying to do better and better and, and use you know, standard principles and implement them and uh, so I'll give you a, I've got my targets and stuff and I'll give you a rundown on those targets uh, when I get to the house all right so that was the video um, I had a good time shooting like I said I haven't shot the AR in a year and a half and I don't know if you can see that clearly here so I'm gonna move the camera up so you can see I gotta do it like this like this so what we're looking at okay so I started off at 10 yards okay this is iron sights and just so you get a perspective of I wouldn't change anything on the iron sights right now that I, they are I mean that's the size of my hand that's in the that's in the palm it's in the palm of my hand 15 yards okay same thing, palm of my hand. Yeah, I mean, that is awesome. 20 yards. Okay, started drifting up to the, uh, up and to the right a little bit, but when you look at the bulk of everything, it's still in the palm of my hand. So, like I said, this is, these are not big targets. That's, I use a, I use a ceramic cereal bowl to make those and then again at 25 yards 
I would say almost as accurate as the 20 yards I had two flyers um, the rest of them we can see again I put the palm of my hand up there it covers the whole thing so right now I did the the indoor range only goes um, to 25 yards so I really need to get to a I want to be able to do 50 and 100 yards 50 75 and 100 yards with iron sights now this then I decided to go to this which is the 45 that, that I just got it the 45 uh, range officer target and that's at three five and seven yards um, I had uh, this was a flyer from that so I had a couple flyers until I just kind of like reeled it. This one was a flyer. I just pulled that one. I remember I remember saying that that wow I just really just pulled that one. But the bulk because I, I was I was doing full mag, so that was seven seven and seven. So that was fourteen shots. So you can see that almost all fourteen shots. You got one two three four five six seven eight shots eight shots. Let's see so we got one two three four five six seven eight shots outside of uh, that seven fourteen twenty one so eight shots outside of the the mass so I was shooting straight through that straight through that circle and uh, and that's that's good shooting that's that's that range officer that, that I think I got it the where I got the uh, sights where I wanted it to be so Sight wise from three, five, and seven, I'm happy where the sights are on the range officer. When I get back to 10, when I go out to 10, that's where I think I might have a little bit of a problem and I have to decide where is my, where is my range officer gonna be most effective? Do I wanna keep it where it's at like right now or am I gonna, do I zero it at 10 and then work my way back? And I don't know, I have to ask more people that know this gun a lot better I'll probably be asking my brother and HR Funk about those things. All right, I'm back, and uh, let's look at the bad guy. This is the bad guy. YouTube, this is a bad guy. Okay? Now, what I started off doing was failure drills. Now, this last spot here, over here, this is the very last thing I did, and I was working on setting that red dot I'm not I'm so used to iron sights I'm still not used to the red dot and I th I have to I, th I have to play more with it I have to I have to get on the range and just do the red dot I have to have a red dot day and work on it but I did get it up to the shoulder where I wanted it this one two three four five six seven eight and ten those were my last ten shots and I wanted it I wanted them here right here so I was shooting low, but then I got up to where I wanted them here. A couple flyers here, but I got two where I wanted them. Okay. This, I had, I had my, uh, I had my magazines for the 1911, the Springfield 1911 Range Officer, set with six bullets, uh, six bullets each, um, six cartridges each. On, because I was doing failure drills, and a failure drill is one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, and so I was running failure drills on that, and that's why I had them set with with six uh, uh, cartridges and not and not seven. So this was one, two, three, four, five, six. Now here's one, two, three, four, five. I don't know where the sixth one was. Uh, I think I, I think I lost that one because I had a I had a uh, twice I had a failure to eject. I have a, had a stovepipe and a failure to eject, and that was I've been dealing with a a tendon up in here that goes through my through my uh, muscle here, and when I'm doing this, I got a little limp wristed, and I I wasn't giving enough pushback. And once I straightened that out, everything started firing fine again. But these were the last six shots. Oh yeah, see it says mag with six. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five. But I, like I said, I, I, I pulled the one out because it, uh, it was, uh, I think that was the stove pipe on that one. So then I shot the next six and I shot exactly where I wanted in the lung. That's what I wanted to do because it, I had not, I, no, here it is. No, there's the seventh one. I'm sorry, that was my bad. No, there's the seventh, there's the seventh one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was shooting this lung because this lung had nothing in it except for that one right there. And I think that was a nine millimeter from a failure drill. They also used a nine millimeter on the failure drill. But if you notice, the failure drill is, is now these, la these were the last three bullets I had for the, for the uh, last three rounds I had for the uh, 1911. And right here, that was at seven yards. And boom, 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 I wanted to hit that lung. Boom, right in the lung, right there. And that was a quick pow, 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 okay? But most of this in the heart, it was like pop, 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 you know, in the chest, pop, pop, pop. And that's what you're doing in the failure drill. I did, uh, this, was, uh, this was from the red dot, because I really wasn't seeing through the red dot. So I gotta work with that red dot. And this was also a nine millimeter, but I wanted to shoot the stomach because I hadn't had anything in the stomach yet. So I did shoot the stomach where I wanted it. This was from failure drill. So most of this is from the failure drills. You know, you're, you're coming up. I can't, I'm not allowed to draw at that range, um, but I can start, I can start at, 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 half, re at half ready and then come up, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And that's, that's how I was doing it. So it was, uh, and I kind of picked that up from HR Funk. I'll have his link in, in, in uh, at the end. You'll see him, you can click on his, uh, his page because I learned a lot from him. Um, but if you see, both with the nine millimeter and with the uh, uh, 45 caliber, no problem going from chest to head, chest to head, chest to head. This is the you know brain area. You got your mouth right here. You got, I mean, even here, you're gonna go through that chin into the back stem of the, the, the brain. So I would say overall, um, just getting used to things. I just started uh, shooting with both eyes open um, not too long ago, so that's a new thing too. New gun, new red dot, both eyes open. Well, I didn't do both eyes open with the AR, of course, because I'm using iron sight and that would be kind of hard to look. And I can't get my eyes like that. But with these, I would say this is a successful day. Um, I enjoyed the day. Uh, any suggestions? Uh, questions that I could answer that I didn't explain well, um, ask me so that way I can explain it. And let me give you a better, closer view of that just so you can actually really see that real good. And like I said, every, every one of these here, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 failure drills. Um, Cause I didn't do any, any, I didn't do any headshots without failure. So I did 15 failure drills between the uh, um, 45 uh, and the nine millimeter. So I would call that a success that all 15 came off that, off the body mass area and into the head. Two to the body, one to the head. Two to the body, one to the head. Very accurate, this is all, this here, this whole, by here, this is this is a uh, uh, 45 man. This is the 1911, and I, and I believe it was like I believe it was like pop pop head, pop pop head, pop pop head. And so I was, I mean, I was, I kept starting off in that same spot. There's four of them here, so I, I, I started off in that same spot. Um, it could have been even pop pop head. Um, I'm not too sure, but we can tell that. Uh, uh, things are coming along at the end, me trying to figure out the red dot. Like I said, I'm going to spend more time with that. Um, I, this was, uh, you know, this was a, this is still, you know, this is still body mass right here, but this was uh, coming up. I think this was pop, pop, head. So um, this was with the 1911. I think this was actually my, I think this was actually my first, I've, I've not practiced this 
coming up from from uh, from Ready Stance, it, you know. So I think that was my first pop pop head, and so I went pop pop head, and uh, if I did go right to the head, but then I was able to make my adjustments up into this area once I started getting that action coming up, action coming up, action coming up, action. So that's what I'm, I'm going to practice. It would be nice to be able to come up out of your holster and come up, but at least this is part of the way and you're coming into your sights. So, and I kind of learned that from HR Funk also. So I got to give a shout out to HR Funk. Shout out to my brother. I know you didn't see my head, I guess, because I was talking like this. Um, but you get the idea. I wanted you to see that, not this, because this is what was more important. And I'll get the camera work down better but it's my first shot at changing uh, 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 what I'm doing for videos and making a different background tell me if you like it um, I'd appreciate it I love you God bless you and I'll see you next time